Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I've been asked many times if I was going to check out this knife, and I've seen it before. I just didn't do a video on it, so we're going to do that right now. This is the Miguron Acri, and all of its sleekness. Would you look at it? Just look at it! Look, we have T8s over here, and a captive pivot, and you have a place to put a lanyard. And then on this side, look how clean. One T8, then your T8 for your pivot, and then there is your pocket clip. And all of its mildness, and I believe it's some type of maybe titanium alloy, I'm not 100% certain. I can tell you that it does not react a whole lot to the magnet, but it does somewhat. So, not 100% sure on that. And you do have a very nice looking G10 backspacer. You can get these in black or this OD green. The black version has a satin blade, so if you're a satin blade lover, well there you go. And there's your Migron symbol. And wait a minute, do you like long blades? Do you like them long? Here you go. Pow! Right in the kisser. Holy freaking moly. Now that is a long one. <laughs> Look at this long blade. It's a PVD coated. And oh, it's so pointy. I wouldn't say that this one's shiny, but it's definitely pointy. And just guess what? Guess what? It's a hollow ground blade. And you won't believe how much... Well, how little this knife costs for what you get, I was very surprised by the price. There you have plenty of room for your sharpening, and then you can see on the inside right here, you have some jimping. There's no discernible pass-through in the G10, but we'll see how that goes with the ergonomics here in just a moment. There's a look at your liners. They're milled out on the inside to make it nice and lightweight for you, and it is clean and simple and very gents knife-like. The blade to handle ratio is very nice on this one. From tip to tip, it's 8.42 inches. Your clothes length's 4.7 inches. Your blade length is 3.75 inches. Yeah, you hurt me. You hurt me. We're pushing four inches. Ha <laughs> ha. Your blade stock thickness is 143 thousandths of an inch. And behind the edge, it's 16 thousandths of an inch. And it trails up to 19 thousandths. And if you look on top, which is kind of hard to show you with the lighting, you have a crown spine, which is very nice. Very, very nice. And for all of this knife, it weighs in at 4.15 ounces. So 4.2 ounces is really good for this much knife with this much blade. Speaking of blade, let's see what it does to a piece of paper. Ooh, very nice. Listen how quiet. Ooh, yeah. We've got some gliding action, ladies and gentlemen. It is laser, laser. <laughs> it is laser sharp. Now, one thing about this blade is it definitely stays in your pocket. It does not come out easy. Once you get it in there, getting it past the little nub, is it takes a little a little bit of effort. So it is not going to slide out of your pocket and, uh, you know, end up in the grass and you don't know you've lost it. Now, fresh out of the box, uh, left to right, uh, one out of 10. I can detect a little bit of movement. But the pivot probably needs tightened a little bit. Up and down, absolutely solid. And what's our lockup look like? Lockup's right in the middle. And how about our centering? Are we centered? Why, absolutely we're centered. Golly, that looks so good. And look at this. Look at that pivot collar. That is so sharp. The green and the black with the black PVD coated blade. That is so nice. A couple quick size comparisons. You know, we got to show the QSP Penguin. Everybody's got to have a penguin, right? And wait for it. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's the CJRB Feldspar. It's the Feldspar. At least that's what I call it. Some people call it the Feldspar, but you know what I'm talking about. And look at this. Look at this. Here is the Kaiser. Oh, you know what that is. The Beg Lighter. Look at that. So if you have a Beg Lighter, then, uh, yeah, um, yeah, you got some length going on. Now, here's another one that I think is going to be close. This is the Civivi Elementum Button Lock. That is a lot closer, but it still has some blade on it. Not a ton. It's sharpened blade, but it does have some blade. And something else that's really nice about this knife, it's going to fit anybody's hand because it has very neutral ergos, neutral handle, which I'll show you here in just a minute. And we'll do just two more. How about one that hopefully I think everyone has probably seen at this point? It's the Ontario Rat. Hasn't been on the channel for a while. There you go, the rat number one. And how about another one that hasn't been on the channel for a while? The Petrified Fish PF949. Okay, so I had to find some with a little bit of length going on. You know, I needed some length to do some comparisons. Now, these have wider handles, but you can see, you can see what we're working with if you have one of these knives. Now, for your deployment methods and your ergonomics, one thing I will mention, it does have some nice looking texture, but there is no discernible palpable texture. It is about a zero or a one on the texture scale. It's very slickery. So when you, if you're going to front flip it like this, you got to make sure you have a good hold on it. But I will say that the jimping on this is just fantastic. 
fantastic. I wouldn't mind a couple more jips. You know, I want to see a knife that makes me say, oh, that's good jipping. I have no complaints. Not that I have a complaint. It's very good. And look at this. It, it Remember how I told you, you roll your thumb, you don't flip it. Look at that. It just comes flying out with ease. It is so snappy. The action is pretty good on this. I would say that the action on the other one is going to be a little quicker, a little quicker to drop because it's not going to have the PVD coating. But flicking this knife is very easy. And the blade, you can see it just disappears into the handle. And like I was telling you earlier, you have really good blade to handle ratio. But look at this little to no effort whatsoever. So if you've been on the fence about getting a front flipper, this right here is definitely a good one. Now my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. And yeah, how could it not be comfortable? Just holding it regular and then giving it the old B squeeze. There's no hot spots at all. Holding it like this, it is very comfortable. There is zero jipping, so I can't complain about jipping that's not there. It's, uh, it's comfortable. My finger does want to slide a little bit, but I have no problem getting a good grip on it. And then reverse grip. Oh yeah, reverse, reverse. Now I could see how my thumb might play a role if I was doing some slicing or a little bit of pokey poke with it this way. But it, you can't go wrong with ergonomics like this and a handle that is this neutral. The ergonomics are good. It has good action. And then I was telling you about that jimping on the inside. That jimping does help with closing it. It's not hurting my finger. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. I'm not having to dig. So it's actually not that bad to get a hold of, even though there's no discernible pass. So an 8.4 inch knife, 3.75 inch blade, hollow ground, 14C28N. Uh, these are running, I think there's a three, at the time of this video's posting, there's like a $3 clippable coupon. These are running like 44, 45 bucks. That is, that is a steal. For this steal, for this blade steal and what you get, that is Excelente del mundo, as my dad used to say. I like it. I have no qualms with it. I have no issues whatsoever. It's it's a good one. I like it. I know a lot of folks would like another uh, you know style, to, another way to open it, but that's just the style of this particular blade. I hope you enjoyed this. And if, if you're not subscribed, what? Subscribe because you don't want to miss Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right, every Friday night. Go watch this video. You're really going to like the knife in that one. And you know, if you don't like that one, you can go check this one out. You're going to like that one. But until I see you in the chats or the other live streams or the hive stream on Friday night, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.